Welcome back to another how-to video. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I want to take a look at shadow play along with one of the glaring issues, which is the fact that we're unable to have multiple audio channels for our recordings. While there's no way around this, without using another software and recording the entire time, there is a way to somewhat mitigate this problem, thus allowing us to still utilize Shadowplay. So for this video, I will be going over how to separate your chat audio from Shadowplay on the fly using Voice Meter Banana, while also being able to balance the audio between your game, your microphone, and the chat before Shadowplay even records it. First up, you will need to download and install Voice Meter Banana along with Virtual Audio Cable. Both of these can be obtained from the same website and the link to them will be down in the description below. Once the installation is done and you've restarted your computer, you may want to go to the sound button in the lower right, right click on it and go to playback devices. Voice Meter will probably have set its output to be the default, you just want to set this back, otherwise you won't hear your desktop audio. Now open up the chat program that you're using and go into the settings. Find the output or voice settings and look for the output device. You want to set this to one of the two voice meter options that you'll have. For this video I'm going to assume that we're using the top one which has speakers but if you notice in parentheses it does have aux in there and that's something that we're going to remember when we pull up voice meter. Once in voice meter you can choose your input and output devices. You can also right click on the hardware input name and rename those if you wish. So I set up the first input for my microphone. All you have to do is click on it, find the microphone that you're using and select it. Now we can set our output devices, which we can use with A1, A2 and A3. For output A1, I'm selecting the cable input, which was the virtual audio cable that we installed earlier. For A2, I'm setting my headset speakers so we can route the chat audio through them because as of right now, we won't be able to hear anything from the chat program that we're using. Once that's complete, we need to set which outputs our inputs are going to be using. Earlier, we set our chat audio to be sent to the aux channel, which is this one here. As you can see, A1 is highlighted. This means that any audio that comes through this channel will be output to the A1 output source. So in order to hear our friends in the chat program that we use, we need to select A2 and this will route that audio back to our headset. Next, we need to pull up Shadowplay, which can be done using the shortcut Alt plus Z. From here, select the microphone option and then go to customize. Now you need to set the recording device to the cable output, which we downloaded and installed earlier. Since we have the cable input as our A1 output device and voice meter, then anything we have being routed through it will be recorded by Shadowplay. If you are trying to record interactions with you and your friends, then the best way to do this is by selecting the Always On option. Now, if you decide that you don't want Shadowplay to record your chat audio, then all you have to do is go back into voice meter and deselect the A2 option for the auxiliary input. Lastly is the audio balancing. This is going to be user preference and will require you to record interactions with you and your friends and play them back to see what the levels are like. To decrease the audio, all you have to do is go to the fader gain and lower it. By lowering the audio for the output, it will also lower the audio for your headset as well. This can be adjusted in the master section by finding the corresponding output. In this case, it's A2 since that's what we set to be our headset speakers. So all we have to do is turn the fader gain up an equivalent amount to what we lowered it by in the initial input. You can also balance the game audio relative to these changes as well. This is going to require some more testing on your part. In order to do this, go to the sound button in the lower right, right click, and then select Open Volume Mixer. From here, you should see a device that says NVIDIA Capture Server. This is essentially the level that the game audio is recorded at and can be used to balance the game audio with the recording device audio. I personally have mine set at 35, but I typically have my in-game audio levels set lower than 100% as well. This is why I suggest testing it out yourself and that it's user preference. It would be nice if NVIDIA would add in the feature to allow us to use Shadowplay to record multiple audio tracks. It would give us uh, more flexibility and allow us to better balance the audio or cut audio out where need be. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I hope to help you out a lot. 
I'll catch you on the next one. Ram tight out.